Hey everybody, this is Grant Dermody coming at you with uh, the third in an installment of uh, beginning harmonica exercises and lessons about how to make chords sound good, which I think is the first step to harmonica playing. So uh, what I was doing there was playing Ode to Joy, which is one of my favorite warm-up songs. And it's also a f one of my favorite breaking in a new harmonica songs. So what I was doing there was I was playing that as a chord melody. So I'm sure you've seen harmonica tablature where there's an arrow, either an upward arrow or a downward arrow, and then a number underneath. And so let's just say that the song starts on a four hole blow, which is a upward arrow with a four underneath it. What I would do is I would play holes two and three and four. So whatever the melody note is, that would be the top note of a three note chord. Sometimes maybe a four note, four note chord, just kind of depending on how I'm feeling. Okay, so whatever the melody note is, that's the top note of your chord. And if it's a draw note, it's a draw chord. If it's a blow note, it's a blow chord. And you can do that on any song that you know. Um, it's better, I think, probably to do it on a, um, on a song that starts and ends on a four hole blow or maybe it goes down to the two draw and then to the four blow, but around in there, the chords are gonna sound better. So I'm playing a key of A Marine Band out of the box, no alterations, no nothing, just straight out of the box. And I want to also remind you to please um, subscribe and please like and please share. And that way we can get the word out and get the channel going. This is lesson number three. Okay, so let's just take a kid's song, for instance. Maybe you have, uh, maybe you've got a kid at home, maybe you're a parent, maybe you're an uncle or an aunt or a grandparent, and you want to play a song for a little person. So maybe that would be something like Row, Row, Row Your Boat, which starts on a four-hole blow. And then up to speed. Maybe something like Saints Go Marching In. And then Saints Go Marching In, I mean, that's kind of a straight way to play it. I mean, you know, the notes are right, but it's not very jazzy. It doesn't sound really very Dixieland-like. So what if we kind of tweak it a little bit and have some fun with it? makes it a little more fun. So I'm just kind of, I'm just fooling around with the melody. Nothing, nothing special. Just messing around, having some fun. This is a tune that I love. I've always loved this tune. It's, um, it's an old gospel tune called Steal Away. And that lends itself really nicely to chord melodies.
approaches to. And then another tune that might work really nicely for something like this is uh, Oh Suzanne. <laughs> So all this time, everything that I'm doing, the inside of my mouth is wide open. I am subtly changing the shape of my mouth to get different sounds. I'm not always getting a wide open ah. Sometimes it could be an ah, or it could be an o, oh, but it's going to be an open sound. It's not going to be an uh, or an i, eh, or an e, or anything like that, because that's a tight sound, and that's not what I want for this particular kind of plane. Sometimes that's good to have, but not for right now. Okay, so that's what's going on with that. It's, uh, it's wide open, wide open mouth with slight variations and just playing chord melodies. And what that does is that gets you used to doing draw chords and blow chords in a pattern that reflects the way the melody is played. And the harmonica has kind of an idiosyncratic way of alternating blows and draws that no other instrument has. So getting used to that and getting used to where the notes are and it's muscle memory and it's ear when you're, when you're figuring melodies out. And um, the muscle memory part is where is it on the harmonica? Where does it, where, what part of it is there? And then the ear is what does it sound like? What does that note sound like? And so the deal with that is the harmonica, you can't look and see what you're doing. You have to, everything's happening here. It's not like a guitar where you can say, oh, that's how a G chord goes, or a piano where you can see the notes right there. Things happen where you can't see them. So that's one of the challenging parts of teaching the instrument and also of playing the instrument. Okay, so I hope that was fun for you. And I will see you soon with uh, lesson number four. All right, thank you for being here. Please be sure to uh, subscribe. Please be sure to share. Please be sure to like. And it would help me out quite a bit if you did all of those things. Thank you very much. Bye.